Hey gang, Ryan with Brass Eagle here. Want to show you a quick video on this uh, trailer that we're building. It's called the Training Officer's Helper. It allows uh, one person to be able to load, move, and unload a green door to uh, anywhere they please. This trailer's heading up to the Whatcom County Training Officers. Uh, they purchased a door and this will be able to help them move it around the county. Uh, this is the second one we built and felt like we got a good enough scald on it now to be able to share it and it um yeah works out pretty well so it allows one person to move one of those puppies this one's heading down to Cowlitz county that door is later on today and uh, for those that don't have one of those laying around and need to be able to move them between stations this should help you out so let's walk through it all right so hopefully you can see this all right but this trailer is basically built like a horseshoe and it's got an overhead uh hand winch on it for picking the prop up but uh, how it's constructed, it's, it's, a, uh, it's an axle-less suspension, so it doesn't have an axle going through it on each side that's independent of each other, which allows this middle area to be, be clear once we swing out these removable cross members. And then we can straddle the prop, hook the winch up to it, suck it up, and it actually sucks the plates up to these, these uh, supports here. And then we swing these back underneath it and bolt it in. So the first step when you're getting ready to move it is you swing these these uh, cross members out of the way and that'll allow you to straddle over the prop and center it underneath the winch. All right, we got the trailer backed up. Now we're gonna hook this thing up. It's not exactly centered right over the top of it, but as soon as we start picking it up, it'll, it'll center itself up and it's got two guides on either side, so. Let's hook it up. And as you can see here, it's just hooked up with a, a screw link. Goes up into a couple pulleys and then down to the hand winch. And uh, you know, just to trick with these, these little guys, you wanna keep it as tight as possible. You can see I got it a little loose there and it's kind of uh, starting to uh, rat's nest a little bit. So I'll fix that before we ship her out. But yeah, trying to keep that cable taut at all times is, is important. And now we'll winch this puppy up. All right, we got the prop up, sucked up tight against those supports. Now we swing in these cross members underneath and they fit nice and nice and tight. And then we bolt them in. So one note about this thing is sometimes if one side's real tight, you might have to loosen it just a little bit to be able to get the other side started and then tighten them both up together. All right, we got our cross members in, all four bolts are tight. And I like to back off this, uh, this winch just a tiny bit. Not much, but just enough to, to relax the cable a little bit. And then uh, it's ready to go down the road. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this trailer makes it a lot safer to move these things around rather than tearing down the prop each time. But there are some things you need to know and be mindful of when you're towing it with this. Just like towing anything, man, the load has got to be secure. Make sure all of your connections are tight and the cable's tight before you take it down the road. Uh, the trailer's about 2,500 pounds, plus or minus the uh, it's a flat four trailer connection and then a two inch ball. So it's not a very heavy trailer. Um, when you're going up or down with it before the cross members are underneath it and secured, no body parts underneath it, keep your toes out of the way. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty straightforward operation once you've done it a couple times. It does take a fair bit of effort to crank it up and down, but it's a, it's a pretty safe operation. Uh, with that, uh, as far as maintenance on the trailer, the bearing should be good um, and lubed. You know, every now and then touch those. The um, it's got a grease cert fitting on the in the uh, cap there, 
check the lug nuts occasionally, make sure the lights work, and that uh, should provide you lots of years of service. So thanks for checking it out. Let's unload this thing. All right, that's it. That's the training, the, the trailer, the, the training officer's helper. So uh, only tools you really need, three quarter inch wrench, um, three quarter inch socket, um, or a scrunch, chainsaw scrunch works. And uh, you know, just normal stuff. Keep the drum tight on the cable as you're going up and down with it. It stows up there on the, on the outer arm. And uh, yeah, be safe with it. Thanks for watching.